Hello citizens, Zine here again. Trying to do a little demonstration of the Gladius X, or more specifically the Gladius X2. Slight little modification for style and preference and avoiding a bug, which I'll show you later. Um, was going to have a nice demo, but ran into a crash in a single player match. Connection to server launched. What the heck's up with that? I'm single player. How do I lose connection? Whatever. I don't understand exactly how it works, but that's what it did. Anyways. Uh, people are asking, so I'm going to show you exactly what I did to set up that Gladius the way I did, uh, with a little modification. So, with the modification, you only need to purchase two Gladii um, for the purpose of getting two of these uh, GT215, I believe, Scorpion chain guns, and four of the twin missile racks that come with it. So you need two Gladii for that, and you will need one tarantula GT870 size 2 make sure you don't get the size 3 because it won't fit and you will need a rack of Tempest 2 CS missiles so this set is 10 for the 1400 so that is 900 plus 1400 is 2300 plus the two gladius or gladii are uh, 18,000 so that's what 9 and 14, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30. That's that it? Oh, the shield. Yeah. Um, getting hit by a missile in a Gladius, I'm finding is a very bad thing. Because sometimes the Van Duel get one off that's just lucky, or they're firing off multiple, and you evade some of them, and you can't tell which ones you did evade and didn't evade, and you get hit, you're in trouble. So, I'm finding actually using a splash shield is better than the mark shield. Um, not having so much problems if I could avoid, avoid all the missiles normally, but not being able to know when they're on me is a pain. So, I switched from the mark shield to the splash shield. Either way, same cost as a thousand. So, that brings the total price of the Gladius X Mark II up to 21,300 rec, I believe. And I will now do a demonstration of setting it up and hopefully get a good uh, recording of action in Vandal Swan. Um, again, this setup I mentioned in the thread is intended to fight Vandal Swarm, of course. It might not do as well in PvP because sledges are ridiculous right now, but hey, try bringing sledges into Vandal Swarm with their 120 ammo cap and see how far you get. You have to be stupid accurate and hit everything and kill them just right in order to win. Uh, I guess you could do it with the help of eight missiles, but just the sledges by themselves? Mm, maybe not. Anyways, well, that's it for the out of cockpit portion. Alright, I'm in. Let's get this thing sorted up. Oh, here we go. Ouch. All those damn extra ships. Let's see. So this list in your inventory of ships is sorted alphabetically the same as the list for your ship selection. So Aegis Dynamics is going to come first. So that's their Avenger and the Gladius. Let's see. Okay, there's the one I have kitted up already. I thought I might have lost it with the crash. So, uh, very carefully pull off the... Hmm. Maybe I should reset my inventory and show it from start. Nah. Very carefully pull off the nose mounts, which are these GT215 Scorpions, from your uh, second Gladius and from your existing one. So they'll be up here instead of on the wings. And you have to attach them using the special little mount that comes with them. You can't put them directly onto the wing mount. Uh, easy enough. Then you put your Tarantula size 2 GT870 cannon up here. So these are chain guns. This is a cannon. Slightly different velocities, not much difference. Um, they operate a little bit differently, which is nice. You got a little bit of variety, a little bit of style, a little bit of fun. But the main reason why I'm putting this up here on the nose instead of three scorpions is because right now there's a bug with the inventory system. And so far, the best I've been able to do is get three of the scorpions on there and then load one extra box of ammo in this one up here with these two being fully loaded or any combination of one box missing. I've only ever been able to get five, typically four boxes of ammo loaded 
I've never been able to get six. It's tricky. So what will happen is you go over here to weapons. You put your stuff on. That's fine. You go over here to ammo. Put your ammo in. That's fine. And then, same for missiles. You close your holo table. You come back. And you have to do this before you launch. You want to check and make sure it's loaded up properly. You come back and get your ship. Put them back in here. Check that your weapons are correctly on because as you see out here, there's a whole pile of extra weapons that aren't actually in my inventory. Many of these are attached to other ships currently. I don't know what the deal is with that. And there's a bug associated with trying to put something in two places at the same time. So if you refresh your holo table like this, you'll see an open sphere if you're actually missing something. And same exact thing for the ammo page. Uh, so once you do a refresh, make sure that there are no open spheres for your missiles or your ammo boxes. This lets you know that you're fully loaded like you want to be and not just seeing it, closing your table, and then going into game and finding out it's not actually on your ship. Uh, and here, same thing. I swapped in a Splash 2 shield. Well, it's showing a Splash 2 over there. That's weird, right? Why is it doing that? Let's see if I can get the bug to happen. I'll swap it with the one that's over there, close the holo table, refresh. See? Empty sphere. I just put the shield on there and now it's empty. What the heck? That's what happens when you have a duplicate item, which you can't control which one you're picking out of the list when you have multiple. Uh, put a duplicate item on a ship and something weird goes on. Or maybe it's not necessarily duplicate. It might just be a, a misrepresentation of the item in your inventory. I don't know exactly. All I know is you got to put one on there, close it, open it back up, and check to make sure you've got what you want properly loaded on the ship. Get my ship first. Oh, it's so sexy. I like the way it moves, I like the way it sounds, I like the way it shoots. I got the twin puffs and the pounder. Ugh. And then Doom. That right there is Doom for Van Duel. Players too. Okay. Weapons ammo all loaded properly. Shield's not a blank bubble anymore, and you'll see that the splash is no longer incorrectly in my list anymore. Just the mark shield. So, the splash is right there where I want it. That ship is fitted out. Oh, one more thing I want to point out. Because uh, you're going to have to buy multiple Gladii to set this up, depending on what you want to do. Later, if it's fixed, I'm probably going to switch back to having three scorpions on there instead of the... Uh, the tarantula, but I do like that the tarantula velocity is close to the scorpions and you get the combined aim pip. Um, I really like aiming with that thing, it's much easier, but then again if you got chain guns you don't really have to aim all that much, you just pull the trigger and kind of wiggle it around your target and you hit them. Um, right here, this is the unmarked gladius, the first one in the list, and you can see that in this area right there. This is Gladius number two, this is Gladius number three. That's important for when you're in the lobby or drone sim and you need to select your ship. Uh, you got to pick the right one, otherwise you're not going to have any equipment. So, let that shut down. Arena Commander. Get you. Drone sim. Can't play multiplayer. Well, you can try. Alright, which one was it? Uh, Gladius, not two or three. So right there, you can see the two or three. That's the wrong ones to pick. This one is the one that is loaded up. Pendulum. 